Thanks, Rebecca. You know, the world did not end last month like one Christian group predicted it would, but Mother Nature does still seem to be particularly destructive this year. Powerful tornadoes have ripped through the Northeast, Great Plains, Midwest, and Southeast, all over it seems. Also, floods have ravaged the Mississippi River Valley, infecting several states there. And now we're gearing up for hurricane season. Joining us this morning is Kevin Also from the Founda Foundation Financial Group. And he's joining us to talk about how to prepare for her when it comes to your insurance. A lot of questions out there, a lot of different policies, a little fine prints you have to pay attention to. But right now, bottom line, right now, with hurricane season starting beginning of this month, this is the time to get insurance if you don't have it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to review your policies. Uh, deductibles are important. Deductibles are the amount that your viewers would have to pay if a claim occurred. And uh, that, that's the part a lot of times people get surprised with with hurricanes. The deductibles are much larger than a normal homeowner policy. And that's if, if there's a issue with that deductible, now's the time to address it as opposed to after a hurricane's hit and then they're faced with this large out-of-pocket expense that they may not be able to, to handle. How have all these disasters around the rest of the country, I mean, really, it seems southeast, we've, we went through all these places, there's been a lot of states affected. Florida hasn't been one of them yet, luckily. Yes. How have all these, these disasters around the country affected insurance providers and, and as far as payouts and everything? I mean, is that going to affect us down here when we're going to get policies? It can. Uh, whenever, whenever insurance uh, industry as a whole affects natural disasters or catastrophic loss, that will eventually trickle down. Now, with that said, Florida has always been the state that's took the, the cost higher in other places because of all of our hurricanes. And now it seems like the other states are just catching up. It's, uh, it's alarming, but again, that's what we prepare for. And if you review your policies, uh, the insurance industry will do their job and make sure you're protected. One of the things to point out, too, is you cannot get insurance. You can't change your policy when there's a storm out there coming our way. That is exactly true. And you want to make sure that you review your policies now, have them out. Uh, again, the deductibles are probably the largest. People are aware of them, but it always affects their pocketbook when it's that week. It, it's never they expect it that week to happen. So have a game plan. If you don't have savings, if you don't have money in a checking account to pay that deductible, because it can be several thousand dollars, uh, you have a credit card available. And if not, there are carriers out there now uh, in certain parts of the state that will allow you, uh, insurance carriers, allow you to be a lower deductible than the standard 2% of, uh, and 2% means of your dwelling amount. Have you seen a lot of those deductibles changing? Yes, they are. And, and if you're along the coast, you're still going to probably be harnessed with a 2% deductible. Uh, it's hard to get away from that. But if you're inland, maybe 10, 20 miles, a lot of times you can purchase that deductible down to $1,000 or 500 even, matching your other peril deductibles. And that, that I would suggest for people that maybe have their rainy day fund dry up over the last couple of years with the economy taking the hit that it has. Let's talk about renter's insurance. There's an awful lot of renters here in Northeast Florida. Absolutely. What do you recommend? A renter's policy is good, a contents policy. Uh, now a lot of the, uh, the apartment buildings require it. Uh, they're very, very inexpensive. You can contact your local agent. Uh, we write many at Foundation Financial Group. Uh, for our, our, our people local in the Jacksonville market. And uh, it's about 100 to $150 a year, very inexpensive to get maybe $10,000 worth of coverage, cover your bed, clothes, TV, electronics, and, uh, and that's important. Now, that doesn't cover flood. Uh, the flood insurance policy would need to be purchased separately. And that is a, a, a flood policy has a 30-day elimination period, and that's important to know. So you cannot go out and buy it even three weeks before a storm comes, so now's the time to look at that. Is that true for homeowners as well? Flood insurance is always a separate entity? That is correct. Uh, you can purchase uh, homeowners insurance and auto insurance. You can make changes to your policy up until uh, the storm gets close to the coast of Florida, usually north of the Virgin Islands. Uh, at that time, they'll stop binding, uh, so then you're, you have what you have. Uh, flood insurance, again, is a 30-day elimination period. Now, your viewers that are purchasing homes I don't want them to worry. If they're buying a home during hurricane season, they will waive that 30-day elimination period. Well, that's good to know. Yes. That's a good tip. Okay. Hey, Kevin, thank you so much. Good stuff. Thank you. For more information on how to prepare for a hurricane, we have put a link on newsforjax.com. Click on the weather section, scroll down to Hurricane Essential.